so we have analyzed a star star and a delta delta network okay so when i say star star i basically mean my source is in the form of star and my load is also in the form of star and delta delta means my source is also delta my load is also delta okay so over here i have a delta source and over here i have a delta load and i have analyzed a connection which was basically like this a delta delta connection okay you could also have a delta star connection okay over here i have a star load and over here i have a delta source so how you are going to analyze a delta star connection if you remember when we looked at star delta transformations we saw that my r delta is basically three times my r star or r y okay similarly your z delta is equal to three times your z star or z y okay so if you have to transform the star network into a equivalent delta network all you have to do is you have your z star okay your z delta is simply going to be what your z delta is 3 times your z star okay so you can convert this star network into a equivalent delta network by multiplying your individual phase impedances by 3 okay so if this is your given star load you can have 3 into zl 3 into zl 3 into zl and you are going to have your equivalent delta load okay and you know how to analyze a delta delta connection okay so if you are given a delta star connection simply convert the star load into a delta load by multiplying individual phases impedances by 3 and then you can analyze a delta delta load as we have done earlier right similarly if you have let's say a star delta network just realize we have only analyzed a star star network okay where my source is star and where my load is also star we haven't analyzed a star delta network okay so if you are supposed to analyze a star delta network what you could do is simply convert this delta load into a star node okay we know my z delta is 3 times z y okay if i were to convert this into a equivalent y network then impedances in my y network would be given by this relationship right or in other words my zy is z delta by 3 okay so i can convert this into a equivalent star network by simply dividing my individual phase impedances by 3 okay so this is my equivalent star network and i can analyze this equivalent star star network which i already know how to do okay so if you are given a star delta or delta star connection you can simply transform your delta load to a star load or a y load and in the other case you can transform your star load into a delta node or a y node okay so we have looked at how we can transform the loads from star to delta and delta to star to basically arrive at a delta delta connection or a y y connection okay or a star star connection you could also transform your source okay now let's look at my source transformation okay we say two sources are equivalent if they are having the same line voltages okay so let's see over here i have a star or a y source okay over here i have a delta source i want to transform the star source into a delta source okay if these were to be equivalent then the line voltages which is voltage across ab 